Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing with our Imperial Civil War 2.3.4 preview playthrough as the New Republic. Uh, this is the first episode that we're recording live on stream, so this is be being recorded live on Twitch uh, with the next episode or two as well. And those will be going out on YouTube over the next week or so, uh, along with the Knights of the Old Republic that we've recorded and uh, Ascendancy and Fall of the Republic as well. Next week, we are probably going to be finishing the Republic playthrough. Uh, not the new Republic playthrough, but the Republic playthrough. So that'll probably be streamed at some point early in the week. I'll get the dates up for that. Probably on Sunday, uh, when we usually post the stream schedule. But we are going to get back into it with our conquest of the Arado Authority, while hopefully not getting murdered by the Empire of the Hand. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to take Endor back. I am going to try to fortify Bes- Oh, I'm not going to fortify Bespin because I want mining facilities here. And that's probably a... Building under construction. It's probably not going to work out too well for us. But uh, I will get Dreadnought Shipyard and maybe even an Empress... Or, yeah, maybe an Empress here at Sosh. I don't know. No, no, we won't do, we won't do an Empress. But anyways, in the first episode, I asked you guys who we wanted to support with our first election. Uh, right now, obviously, the default choice is Mon Mothma, but we had 37 votes for Leia to 23 votes for Borsk. So our first candidate here is going to be Leia, and then we'll run another election in the polls after we hit the next cycle. So we'll probably play through till the first election here, and then uh, include the poll in that but let's go well we we're supporting Leia but we might not actually have Leia win the influence seems quite high so I'll have to check if the logic for that is correct otherwise everything is at 8 which does not seem correct it might be giving the uh, time-based influence too fast Let's get, uh, do we want to expand from, yeah, we, we can pretty safely expand from here as well. So, Bothawai's getting invaded, let's get these guys moving out and we'll pause. Hmm. Building under construction. With that, the heavy frigate shipyard, and let's get vehicle factories there. Yeah, we need a barracks, and then we can get the turbo lasers. We'll move you guys over here. Actually, let's let's do that. And then we'll see what we can kill with the garrisons. And you guys... Vehicle in production. Vehicle in production. Tactical battle imminent. This looks like it's more threatening than it is, I'm pretty sure. Because the VSD is the biggest thing they have there. Oh, another raid fleet. Got it. Fly casual. I'm gonna throw in Queen Amidala's Revenge. Oh, when we get down here. Let's get out of here. Come on, Chewie. Just so we reveal the map. All right, Chewie, let's get out of here. Come on, Chewie, let's check it out. All right, Queen Amidala's Revenge. You're gonna scout out for us a bit. Thanks, Alan. Enemy forces ahead. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, Akbar. Setting course. Regular home one type over here. Uh, oh, I, I didn't have a chance to course, fix the quasar spawns, but Newsbrush, a quasar, Australian Corvette, steel target, ramming speed. Dauntless, that'll put straight over there. Lando. Alright, Rosar. 
standing by. I am with you. We'll put Eula Ilor. She shouldn't really be on our side yet, but. Don't so forget, we still need to clean up some of the hero spawns. Is she, uh. She joined the New Republic during the X Wing stuff, uh, during the fight against Dishard. And right now we're still against, um. We're still against Pestage. So that'll probably have more story elements attached to it as well. Yours, Asterix, I believe is neck. I forgot my neck brace. Which is Nebulon B2? Alright, let's go for the VSD. It's actually a pretty sizable Empire of the Hand Raid fleet. So. I won't stop the retreat if it happens. Oh, no, Akbar, you can just stay there then. On and Lando, get in, help against fighters. That's actually going to be really helpful against all the uh, capital carriers the Empire of the Hand has brought here. I'm assuming the Empire is going to retreat anyways. Alright, destroy that. And we'll try to keep an eye on Han and, Le er, Han and Lando's health. You're still full, you're still full. They both have invulnerability, so it's not uh, super risky. Alright, you can stop. Well, you're just going to keep going, never mind. I'm gonna send stuff after the raid fleet yet. Okay, we're pretty safely behind our MC80s. I'll let this happen. We're not going to be fighting the Empire very much if they retreat out of here. Like, we're still going to fight them at, like, Honiger and stuff. But... Having to fight those Empire of the Hand ships just to kill a couple frigates isn't worth it to me. Big question with the Asur, is the Arado going to get it in the next update? Uh, well, the next update is going to be on Thursday. So we definitely won't be ready by then. Um, whether it be in the one that's probably going to be in mid to late October or uh, after, probably not either. It's not a huge focus right now. They're still uh, basically my priority list right now is uh, I need to finish finish the Colovex and the uh, hard sell for the CIS. Uh, the Captor and Lup Lupus would be nice to get done for the first Fall of the Republic release, but we'll have to see how feasible that is. Um, Your orders? After that, I want to get the Beta Cruiser in game, the first Haven ship. There's a lot of ISTs. Um, Preparing for jump to light speed. And so Beta, Cossack, which is the first hut unit. I've got a problem. Mm. I might even do the Executor before the Asserter, is the thing. Because the Executor is one of the worst looking things in the mod right now. Uh... And while it would be cool to have the Asserter in, I feel like the Executor, looking how it does, detracts from stuff more than the uh, Asserter being added would add. Alright, 
I think we can take Vergesso this way. And we'll try to just defend here. Oh, you're leaving. Thank you. Because then we can connect stuff a lot more easily. Oh, never mind. They have Thalassa here. Hopefully this retreats towards Bothless and Bothawi. All right. Yeah, we're we're not fighting this with a few frigates, are we? No, no, we're not. That would be dumb. That would be dumb. We're not doing it. to invade Contrum. There's Contrum. I think it's more over here. Yeah. Building under construction. It's pretty isolated. We were going to lose that regardless. Uh, let's just... Get over there so we can get more of our ground units through. Enemy fleet approaching. I think this fleet can handle these Star Destroyers too. The enemy is approaching. Oh, I don't have a Pathfinder. I forgot to set one because, yay, loading saves. Yeah, I was talking about uh, Elor a little earlier, Revenant, but the, uh, Flight systems and I don't know if we'd actually have her be uh, an Imperial hero, Ready for command. because she's more important as a Republic one, but uh, either way, she wouldn't be, she shouldn't be part of the Republic yet. Target confirmed. We've got them on the run. Ready. Yeah, that's what I thought. Need Ilor in this fleet. Or our 7700s. But no, I haven't pressed Cruel yet. I want to get slightly established first. Ooh, you know what? We have them in our Let's sight. kill... Target those lasers. Let's kill Screed. Thanks, Nacho. Appreciate it. Alright. We're killing Screed, then we're leaving. <laughs> oh god. Don't go any further... Farther forward... Kill the gladiator. Gladiator. Copy. We're on the move. Moving ahead. Ah! Moving into position. All right. Go farther this way so that you get out of the IST's range. Don't bait me with your gladiators and then kill me with your ISDs. Right away. Torpedo launchers must be destroyed. Space 
Yeah, go for the station. Come on. I'll give up an assault frigate for a hero. Come on. Tactical battle imminent. Enemy unit sighted. Oh, thanks, Nacho. Yeah, the the forces on Saijo and Endor are being increased, I think, more than anything. Uh Essence of War. I think loses out on a good portion of what they had to. Any plans about new or redone buildings or planet restrictions for buildings to make player two? I mean, a lot of that ties into stuff like planet influence and. Uh, Government mechanics. As that gets fleshed out, that's where a lot of that's going to come from. Hold back. Kill the Punishers. Y wings go for interdictor. Okay, we kill the Punisher. All power to shields. You are gonna go. Uh, nope, you're not gonna go anywhere. You're gonna power to shields. Let's make sure we hit the octopus. This is an ISD too, so. Oh, a quasar died. It's supposed to be safe. You're going to be the target after the CR-90. Go back off. That octuple next. Y-wings, this octuple. Nope. Back off even more. I think if those octuples die, we might be able to save the Nebulon B. Nice. Other octuple. Yeah, 
And I'm going to send Ardent over here to help against the Acclimator. Otherwise, the Nebulon B could be in trouble. Turbo lasers. Copy. Yes, sir. Porting in, sir. Okay, Rogue, you're gonna have to help. No, we lost the Nebulon. Yes, Commander. All right. ISD time. See if we can save the Quasar though. Turbo lasers. Ooh, the quad turbo lasers. Why didn't I go for those first? I always forget about that. Get your shields back. Now, Arden, come around and help finish off this ISD. It can't retreat. Engines are down. I think we might benefit from getting some DP-20s. Heavy turbo laser, regular turbo lasers. Okay, we're good. Not going to be able to kill another CR-90 or anything. Lost a Quasar and Nebulon B, but killed an ISD too. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's get Glory of Mon Cal and Spartan's Pride keyed up there on Solist. Can't get it. Hmm, that's good. I do want to get Atrevis next, but construction complete. Infantry would be really nice to have, but let's let's see what we can do with this. Invasion commencing. Oh, we can't actually we can't get the sensor node without infantry. I'm just not sure what's up with fears. I'm afraid of fighting him with his super high resistance to bombing runs and stuff. Tactical yeah. Situation unfavorable. Let's wait till we have the infantry.
And I think that's all of their forces in this area that we've uh, that we've killed. It's just ground. That's all we need to secure. Choose your reinforcements. In this fleet, I can probably split up between Nets and Sov. So obviously we have more units than we need in it right now. Uh, Tachyon. Republic Rising. And Sojourner. I'm not going to bother parking individual units over them. Because uh, if they want to filter through or whatever, that's fine with me. As long as we have decent access where we need to go. Let's get some. You can get two of those, some of those. Uh, probably one more Quasar. We got two main fleets now. Incoming. All right. First appearance of the uh, Imperial Two class frigate. Yeah, we try to aim a bit more towards maximalist forces, so uh, you get a bit more units to play with, and you can customize fleets a bit more that way, in my opinion. Thanks, Shugo. Appreciate it. I need to work on some, like, proper emotes. Nothing, like, super intrusive. Uh, so I'm not going to do, like, giant gifts or anything, but... I think it'd still be nice for the streams to have a little bit more customized stuff. I'm in range. Y Wing Squadron reporting. Moving to attack position. Scratch one. Frigate reporting. Ready. Scratch one. Range. At your command. Full speed. Your order, sir. The AOTR style is fun too, but I think there's room for mods that do it both ways. I think we're better off having uh, mods that approach things differently like that rather than always being the same thing in every mod. That's one of my problems with like a lot of the earlier Empire at War uh, modding scene is that the uh, all the mods were made out of the same models and kind of implemented the same way when Evil Jedi did his three model packs, they were just like rigged and coded as quickly as possible, always following kind of the base game model for everything, uh, or the base game style for everything, and then uh, kind of just hastily coded. But now, this far along, you, you tend to get a lot more mods that are doing uh, different styles for stuff, new mechanics, and it diverges a bit more from each other, which I think is good for the community keeps the game interesting. Target those lasers. Awaiting orders. Loosen up. Copy. Got one. Find your stick. Read through full throttle. Round for another pass. Ready for orders. Standing by. Stay in attack formation. I've got a fix. The primary target. Alright. Engines, just to make sure it doesn't get away. Let's do the same with everything else. Ready. We've got them on the run. Roger that. Destroy the engine. Actually, let's go for your engines, because we're more likely to be able to destroy that. That Vindicator's probably getting away. Yeah. That's alright. Lost a CR-90, but they lost a... an ISD. 
I know which side I'd rather be on there. So let's make sure Sov actually gets some ships. You guys get back there. I'm just going to auto-resolve that. The Empire of the Hand is starting to push in on this, and I'm not okay with that. We're going to have to send Nance to beat them. If we lose Bespin, we've lost a good part of our economy, and I don't want to lose a good part of our economy. Maybe some bad parts of our economy, but not good parts. Hmm. Even Nance's fleet is going to struggle with this. Calculating jump to light but I, I think we got it. I'll probably want to install an ion cannon here or something, because this will probably be our western border with them for a long time. All right, so we're going to save here. Uh, we'll be continuing on with the stream for a couple more episodes, but for the YouTube uh, version, we're going to put a cut in here and make sure I don't lose any save data. So thanks for watching, everyone on YouTube. We'll be back in a minute or so on Twitch. See you next time.